A lot of electricity in City Field right now. The Mets have won six straight games. They're a half game out of a postseason berth with 23 left to play in a big game tonight. Well, Tyler is just trying to continue what's going on for these starting pitchers. Those are his numbers back and forth from AAA. The last six games for the Mets starting pitchers, ERA 1.45. One man out. Here's Rafael Devers moved up to the number two spot of the batting order. 1-1 one, one on the way to him. A slow hit bouncer towards first to his right. Alonzo fields it. Underhands to McGill covering in time. Two out, nobody on. And we are Abreu will be the batter. Here it's 2-2. Two, two, and the pitch to Abreu is a curveball. In there, strike three called. 12-6 from McGill. And the Red Sox are down in order. Tanner Huck, 8 9, 312 ERA. Red Sox are 1 and 7 in his last eight starts. Here's Francisco Lindor, having MVP chance as he comes to the plate. The 3 1 on the way to him. Hit hard to the right side. Off the glove of the diving first baseman, Casas, and into right field. That should be a base hit for Lindor. And it'll extend his hitting streak to 15 consecutive games. A hard hit ground ball that Casas, going to his right, was not able to come up with. The runners at first and second. Nobody out. Mark Vientos coming up. The pitch, swing and a liner the other way, base hit right field, Lindor to third will be held there. The ball played in quickly and effectively by Abreu, and Vientos really good at going the other way, able to get behind that pitch. Alonzo trying to get him off to the lead now. Here it is. Swing and a miss. He got him. What a big pitch that is. A sweeper. Alonzo is gone and a huge first out. So one away, and it'll bring up Jesse Winker. 2-2 two -two to Winker, the pitch. Swing on a high fly ball, pretty well hit to left center. Duran going back onto the track at the wall. He jumps. It is gone. A grand slam. Jesse Winker hits it off the railing above the orange stripe near the 370 mark. A salami for Jesse Winker here in the first inning. And the Mets are off to a 4 to nothing lead. Fifth career grand slam for Winker. Fifth grand slam for the Mets this season. So a two-out, four-pitch walk, and before Connor Wong hits, pitch, check swing, breaking ball away. Did he go? Yes, he did. Strike three on appeal to first. First base up, David Rackley says, sit down, Wong. Alvarez flies to center on the first pitch, and that'll bring up Harrison Bader. Here is Harrison Bader. He lines one to short, but right at Sogard. So two pitches, two outs. Loud contact, but two away. And back to the top of the order for Lindor. Here's the 3-2. It is up the middle, under his feet, back of second base. Sogard has it. He throws to first, stretched by Casas, sitting over. That was three bullets, but guess what? Three outs. We go to the third. Top three Red Sox looking for their first hit here against Tyler McGill. It's Valdez, Sogard, then Duran. Shot the other way on a line. It's going to get down for a hit. Cut off by Nimmo. He'll be held to a base hit. Valdez back to the bag. Hit that one hard, though, and the Red Sox finally into the hit column here in the third inning. And that'll bring up Sogard, who's in short tonight. 1-0. Pitch is drilled into center field. It is sinking and a diving attempt by Bader. He can't get it. He trapped it. He throws it from his belly to second. Two line drive hits for the Red Sox. And here they come in the top of the third. Now you get the top of the order. Duran Devers. There's a liner pulled into the corner down the right field line and a fair ball. That'll chase in Valdez. Sogard to third and he'll stop and Duran into second with another double and his 72nd RBI. That ball stays in the park. It's probably a two RBI double. This 44th double now ties Alec Bohm of the Phillies for the most in baseball. Nobody's led baseball in doubles and triples since Lou Brock 1968. Lou Brock and now Devers who's 0 for 1 second and third. Swing and a high fly into right field playable for Taylor. Sogard back to tag. Duran is tagging up twos. He'll move on to third. The run comes in to score. Raffi with RBI 81, and that makes it a 4 2 game, and the Red Sox get back in it. So one away, a man at third for Abreu, who struck out looking in the first inning. Swing and a high fly ball. Well struck that one deep. Bader racing back toward the track, and he'll run that one down shy of the track. Tag it up. Here's Duran in to score. Red Sox get three back. Yeah, that's another productive out. And it sends up O'Neill, who is 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Swing and a miss. Slowed it down with a slider away. Inning over. But Boston gets three against McGill. So one out. Here's Vientos. 4 3 Mets. Bottom three. 1 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him with a slider, and there are quickly two away. Pete Alonzo struck out first inning. 2 2. Swing and a miss. He got him. Great sweeper. What do you know? How blows him away. So Wong is on with two away. And Valdez will stride up to hit. He is one for one tonight. McGill set at the belt. The 1 0 pitch. 
Swing and a miss. Snapped on to first base, and they've caught Wong. He breaks for second. Alonzo fires down to Lindor. Lindor chases Wong down, puts the tag on between first and second, and the inning is over. Francisco Alvarez from behind home plate received the pitch, snapped it to Alonzo. They had Wong leaning. Bottom of the fourth inning for Tyrone Taylor. One out, base is clear. Trying to put this man away in a 2-2, and he will. Nasty, another sinker. 95, the velocity's been really impressive. Well, here's McNeil. 0 for 1, he's grounded out to second. Trying to get through this bottom half is how can he does with a swing and a miss. Beautiful fastball in the dirt. Went up on the board as a sinker, but McNeil is gone, and Tanner has struck out five in a row. Devers grounded the first and drove in a run with a sacrifice fly. First pitch by Alex Young. Swing and a ground at a second should be two. McNeil the second one. Lindor to first double play. Four, six, three, and that retires the side. Oh, wow. That's all in. OMG forever. Assuming that it's not a temporary tattoo. Oh, wow. He's just showing off his biceps. And there are two men away. Lindor, one for two. The 0-1 to Lindor. Swing on a liner down the left field line. That's a fair ball. Base hit going into the corner. Extra bases for Lindor. He is on his way to second. He pulls in standing. A two-base hit is 38th double of the year. And so the Mets with two two out hits have runners at the corners two men away. Mark Vientos coming up. Hauk throws and a ground ball back to him. He gloves it, flips underhand to Casas who comes off the bag then steps on it. And just like that, trouble escape for Hauk. We go to the sixth inning. So Yoshida unable to advance the runners and that will bring up another left hand batter Tristan Casas. First pinch hit on the ground towards short. Lindor's got it, steps on second, throws the first double play. And for the second straight inning, the Mets get out of trouble via the ground ball double play. And now Young, so one on one out. Young facing a pinch hitter instead of Nick Sogard, a switch hitter. It is a true right-handed hitter, Romy Gonzalez. Bouncing ball right side, McNeil's got it. Backhand flip to second for one. Lindor to first. Out is the call at first. It's the third consecutive double play to end an inning. The last time the Mets had three different pitchers and an inning in three consecutive innings on double plays, it was August the 7th of 1966. Demo is at third, good speed. Iglesias at second, and Winker at first. This has been a struggle for Jansen. And now a 3-2 count on Taylor. And it's outside ball forward, will force in a run. He'll check it first to make sure Taylor held his swing. He did, it's ball four. Nimmo scores from third, and the Mets are leading by a score of five to three. And that looks like it's going to be it for Kenley Jansen. And would you believe that 44-year-old Rich Hill, who is now with the Boston Red Sox for the fourth time, comes to work to face Jeff McNeil. And he walked up to force in another run. So Hill comes in, throws four straight balls, the fourth walk of the inning, and the Mets now lead six to three. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. The sun is setting on the Red Sox here. So now Alvarez with a chance to blow the doors off this game. 3 2. And oh. that misses ball four, and a third run has been walked home. Taylor, McNeil, and Alvarez all walk with the bases loaded, and it's 7 to 3, New York. Uh, you folks at home, there's nothing wrong with your television set. This is something else. Wow. That's having a walk in the park here in the bottom of the eighth. And now Bader. And the curveball hit in the air to left field. That'll get a run in. Back goes O'Neill. He makes the catch, tagging a third as Taylor. He comes in with the fourth run of the inning, and it's eight to three. So the Mets have broken it open with four runs here in the bottom of the eighth. Bullpen implosion by the Red Sox. Well, we go to the ninth inning. Edwin Diaz, who was up in the bullpen, will come on to pitch, and there are two men away. It'll be Gonzalez, the last hope for the Red Sox. One-two pitch, swung on and missed strike three, put it in the books. Diaz blows a 100-mile-an-hour fastball by Gonzalez. The Mets have swept the Boston Red Sox. They have won seven games in a row. And they remain just a half game behind the Atlanta Braves for the third and final wild card spot in the National League.